we got this article courtesy of Sky News. This is absolutely hilarious, right? Big up fucking Chiara Ferragini. Chiara Ferragini. Ciao guys, this is Chiara Ferragni. 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 I know of this lady because during my time working at Depop, um, she was one of the top Depop influencers. She had a Depop store and she would legitimately move units. Like, and obviously accordingly, um, the company would obviously move mountains to accommodate her. And I think because I did a lot of work in marketing, a lot of work in influencer marketing, content creation and shit, this was the first sort of influencer I, I remember stumbling across in my professional working career who actually sold stuff because there's a lot of influencers out there who are just all image right they have the image online they have the followers and shit but when it comes to actual numbers when it comes to sign ups when it comes to you know um you know user acquisition when it comes to you know checkouts and stuff and selling products they don't actually move any units whatsoever but this chiara woman was definitely one of the people that i remember thinking oh shit she actually is what she is on the fucking social media very popular people trust her opinion when she's selling a certain thing on her depop so everyone would fucking flock to it whatever 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 well this headline is fucking hilarious it says chiara Fer ferangi or how you say chiara ferangi Ferangni, Chara Ferangni, um, let's call her Chara, um, apologizes after misleading fans with a sale of a charity Christmas cake. Imagine this. This is fucking hilarious. So, Italian fashion designer, sorry, Italian fashion influencer Chiara um, has apologized after misleading her followers over the sale of a Christmas cake. The 36 year old who bought her platform through her fashion and beauty um, Chiara brand said she will donate 1 million euros to a children's hospital after fans were led to believe that buying a, for a, a Chiara branded pandoro similar to a panetto they were contributing to the charity in a video apology to a near 30 million instagram followers the influencer admitted that there had been a communications error <laughs> i love that term for a scam communications error after being fined by the italy's competition watchdog in reality and Bolocco, the company who makes the cake, had made a one-off 50,000 euro, 50, euro payment to the Regina Margarita, a Turin-based um, pediatric hospital, months before launching the competition in collaboration with Chiara. So this, you know, so basically, hey, buy my cake and the proceeds will go to charity. But the truth was the donation was already made and anything that she made from the cake, she pocketed. Because obviously, if you say you're going to donate money to charity um, through the sale of a cake, people obviously maybe will buy more of the cake to support the charity, right? Um, <laughs> it's such an unnecessary scam, but it also is kind of an evidence or a indication of just how brazen and soulless and dark this woman must be to run this sort of scam just imagine the stuff that she's gotten away with if this is what she's doing because it's so unnecessary um but obviously it's proof that the greed is strong it continues i realize i've made a communications error a communications error um, my error in good faith was to link via communications a commercial activity with a charity one the influencer was hit with criticism of the incident, including an Italian prime minister, um, Giorgia Meloni. Um, without directly mentioning Chiara, Miss Meloni, the real models to follow are not the influencers who make a lot of money by wearing clothes and showing bags or even promoting expensive cakes that make people believe they are charitable. Businesses run by the mother of two were issued a 1.5 million euro fine by antitrust authority AGCM. Chiara said that she would appeal the fine, calling it disproportionate and unjust and said that she were just to get a reduction on her fine she would top up her donation with a sum equivalent to that discount the one million donation she voluntarily is making is the same amount for um, made from the promotion of the competition the cake company has handed a four hundred and twenty thousand euro fine so imagine that you sell a cake and um, you know declaring that the proceeds will go to fucking charity none of them go to charity you pocket it and you only get rum and she only admitted it because she got found out by, by the way so don't give her any fucking props or claps or adulation for it she got fined that's why she fucking admitted it and even now she's saying it's not true and is contesting it and appealing it and wants to get the fine fucking reduced but it is kind of proof of just how scummy the influencer scene is in general because these people make crazy amounts of money doing absolutely nothing anyway right and usually you can make a lot of money doing nothing if you just kind of double down on doing nothing but then when you start fucking scamming and start fucking skimming here and there 
it's just so unnecessary but also kind of reveals how duplicitous and just dark-hearted and cold that you are to go that far because she already makes a lot of money she already has a great following why would you need to you know embellish this whole story and say you want to fucking you know donate the money from the cake sales to a charity when it's already been donated and all the money from the cake sales that you made goes straight to your pocket it's absolutely horrendous really but also another reminder that charity really you know if you want to contribute to a charity do it yourself directly you know find one yourself do make make the effort to do and do a bit of leg work to find the charities um and support the cause that you want to support but doing them through these influencer type things which are easy to do and they're a bit maybe they're a bit of a dopamine hit to make you feel like a good person because you already follow her and you, you want to do something nice so you kind of want to give back to a children's charity whatever it may be that's tied to the cake that you already like as well but i think making the extra effort to actually donate yourself to a charity is a far better way to spend your money or to use your resources and to really touch the people that need to be touched as opposed to funneling it through the hands of an already rich influencer because unfortunately as she's shown it's really hard not to resist the allure of scamming once that money hits your Shopify, once it hits your PayPal, it's probably really hard to decide, okay, I'm going to send that to the charity. It's probably easier just to say, withdraw my account. Um, so it's probably for the best to not give them that debt temptation and just donate the money directly to the charities that you actually support and you like. That's probably the best way to do it. I would assume that's the, probably the best way to do it. I would assume.